In this video, let's work through the examples where we ask you to find a higher order derivative of the function that involve cosines or sines. Basically, this example is supposed to teach you finding patterns. And indeed, when you work with cosine and sine, you probably notice that derivative of one function gives you another function, plus or minus negative sine. So let's try to work with these examples to know how to find the 31st derivative in this case of the function without calculating all 31 derivatives. Here we are asked to work with the function y equals cosine of 3x. Your job is to find patterns. Well, let's find the first derivative then. The first derivative will be negative sine of 3x times 3. Let's rewrite it nicely. It will look like negative 3 sine of 3x. Good. Now, let's find second derivative. Let's do it in your mind using chain rule. So I know that negative 3 sine will still be negative 3, but now it's going to become cosine. Sine gives you cosine function. 3 of x inside, always we're going to stay 3 of x inside because this part is the inner part of the original function. And then at the end, you're always going to have times 3 because of the chain rule. But instead of keep writing it at the end, let's just multiply 3 times 3 gives you 9. But I recommend you to keep it as a squared. You'll see it later why this is better. The third derivative will be negative or positive. Let's see. Derivative of cosine will be negative sine, negative sine, and then negative in front will become positive. So I will have 3. One more 3 will pop out at the end, so it's going to be cubed sine of 3x. The fourth derivative, and remember when we hit the fourth derivative, we stop writing uh, slashes like this. Now we're writing numbers with little parentheses in front of, with little parentheses, not to be confused, not to be confused with the y equals uh, raised to the four power. The fourth derivative will be, derivative of sine is positive cosine, so it's still positive, three to the four, cosine of 3x and you can keep going we usually recommend to find as many derivatives or do as many steps as you need to find a pattern you'll have more pattern examples in the future including working with series and sequences well let's see if we found the pattern they ask us to find keep going why uh, we, they want us to find 31st derivative of y and let's see if it's ready enough to find it. First of all, I see that we only have two cases, sine of 3x or cosine of 3x. So that will be the easy part to start with. I noticed that when they asked me to find odd derivative of the function, first derivative, third derivative, fifth derivative, seventh derivative, it's going to be sine all the time sine over here, sine over here, differentiate cosine, you'll get fifth derivative, sine again. So it's going to be sine of 3xy, because look what they ask us to find, odd derivative, odd. So I can even make a note, odd derivative gives you sine. Now, we want to figure out what kind of number will be in front of sine. Well, the first derivative gave me 3 to the 1. The second one, the second derivative gave me 3 to the 2. Third one, 3 to the 3. Fourth derivative, 3 to the 4. And so on. 31st derivative will give me, yes, you're correct, 31 raised to the, oh, 3 raised to the 31. The last part is the most challenging one, is to identify the negative sign in front of the function. Do we have a negative sign or the positive sign? Because since in this case it's not very obvious, we have minus minus, plus plus, and again minus minus, plus plus. You can check if you find more four derivatives. But that gives us a hint 
that there is a pattern that happens with four functions. Thus, we just need to figure out how many of those four patterns will be contained in 31. So 31 over 4 becomes what? I know it's going to be 7 because 7 times 4 is 28. 31 minus 28 is 3. So it's going to be 7 and 3 quarters. The 3 quarters part might be useful or not. Depends how good you are with fractions. I will mention why in a second. So since I will be using this part. Since 7 times 4 is 28, I know we passed those four complete cycles 7 times. So 7 times a gun. That means 28 was the last one. And now we're starting with 29. And then 30. And then 31. And then 32. And the next cycle will be 33. And then 34, and then 35, and so on and so on. Thus, we just need to check the 31st derivative. So, 31st derivative is this one. 31st derivative tells us that indeed is going to be a sign. Here it is. It's going to be odd exponent on top of the 3. It is odd 31. And it's going to be positive plus. This also can be explained using this three quarters piece. Three quarters tells me that from the whole quarter, I need to look on the three quarters level. And it's exactly where we're looking at. Three quarters are done in our fourth period level. So now I can conclude that this is the answer. And we proudly can say that we found this answer without calculating all 31st derivatives, which might be a little bit boring. If you want to check your results, I don't recommend you to find all the derivatives, but I guess at least you can just count in your mind 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and so on until you hit 31st derivative. And indeed, you will see that you are ending up at this level, which kind of explains or at least proves that our logic here was correct. I hope this was helpful in those examples. When you see all different kind of patterns, I just try to think about them and summarize a little bit. These problems are pretty creative and helps you to understand more, not only trigonometric functions, but differentiation as well. Thank you for watching.